Hi, I'm Julie Blanner from the Lifestyle website, julieblanner.com, where I share easy ideas for entertaining, home decor, and so much more. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up an inexpensive but fun outdoor Halloween movie night. Now, it's not just any outdoor movie night. We're doing this with Halloween-infused style. Why? Because now more than ever, we're looking to stay at home and spend time outdoors. This is a really fun way to get together with your family and friends in a safe environment. It's also spectacular. As a minimalist, I actually don't like to purchase a whole lot of things. I like to repurpose a lot of things. So I'll share with you a few key items that we have to have a movie night over and over and over again and how I pull from things in our home. Now to set up an outdoor movie night, well, it's pretty simple. You'll need a screen, and you will do. You can use a sheet, a screen that comes free with your projector, which I'll link to in the description below. If you're looking to store something or not purchase anything new, use a sheet. Now you can tie it up from a tree or garage or your home. Those would work the easiest. Another thing, of course, you'll need is a projector. Again, I'll link to that in the description below but not all projectors are created equal. You'll want one that has wireless capabilities so you can use your phone, computer, and not have to hook up your DVD player. Although that of course is an option, it just is one more step to setting up an outdoor movie night. And I'll go into more of that later. Another thing you'll need is an easy to move table. That way you can adjust it any which way you need to. I like to use this inexpensive $10 TV stand that I've had for at least 10 years now. And cover it in a little black gauze for some Halloween flair. Black gauze is only $10 for a massive amount and you can reuse it year after year, which is what I do. I've been using it in my Halloween decor for several years now. Another thing you'll need, of course, are cozy blankets. Now, all these beautiful outdoor movie nights that I see, all brand new blankets and throws and pillows. And unfortunately, that's just A, not an option for us, and B, just feels a little bit excessive. So I pulled from all of our old blankets because, hey, they're gonna get dirty outdoors. I like to use outdoor pillows because they're so easy to clean and really nice cozy blankets because in October, it can get quite chilly around here. Another thing that you don't have to have, but it sure is a lot of fun, are bulb lights. We repurpose these from our back patio and place them here. They really illuminate so that kids aren't out in the dark. It just makes it feel so magical to not only be under the stars, but under the bulb lights. For additional lighting, I integrated our candles that I'm sure you saw in our minimalist Christmas video. I love these candles. They are battery operated, so they're super safe if a kid knocks them over or anything else. And they're a great way to illuminate things like your bar cart. This bar cart, that's a whole story in itself. It's a mason bag spark cart that I completely destroyed by spray painting several years ago. But I spooked it up for Halloween, adding some black gauzy lace and draping it all over. And then of course added lots of fun Halloween treats. Now to illuminate that, I just accent it with a little bit of candlelight because that way it makes it really easy for kids to find their popcorn, their candy, and of course their drinks. For drinks, I recommend serving one of my homemade hot ciders, hot apple cider or hot pear cider, or a cozy hot cocoa. Of course, Halloween is not complete without some spooky candy like gummy worms draping out of a bowl or eyeballs, because why not? It's so fun and really embraces the epitome of Halloween. How long does this all take to set up? Well, really no time at all. In fact, you can do this from start to finish in less than 30 minutes, especially if you're pulling from your own decor. First, I just removed the pumpkins and mums from our front porch to kind of frame the screen. And then stack it up with a cinnamon witch's broom, which adds a beautiful aroma out here too. Then I just grabbed the basket of throws from our living room and filled it with some outdoor throws. It's just nice to allow kids to add on, pile on some extras if they need them. And because I can't resist to add in a little extra fright, 
I made this super spooky floral arrangement. Just inexpensive greenery from Trader Joe's. You can learn more at julieblanner.com about where to purchase flowers, but that's one of my go-to resources. The greenery is just $3 a bunch, so I was able to create this entire arrangement for less than $10 with some dark red roses. You can see more on that on my TikTok. I'm going to also leave all of our favorite family-friendly Halloween movies in the description below. Again, it's just such a fun and festive time of the year. We don't have to make 2020 any different. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click subscribe. I look forward to seeing you again soon.